Down, down, through the looking glass we go. Down into a dark reflection of our own reality. Horror is at its best when it works on more than one level. Us is meant to terrify and entertain us, but it's also meant to show us something about ourselves. By heading down into this nightmarish fairy tale, we hope to come back up seeing reality with new eyes. Us is filled with carefully crafted detail, symbolism, and imagery, and serves as a shocking prophetic wake-up call for those with privilege. In it, we see a people who have lived in the shadows underground, suffering while those above them had the best. It suggests that there is a duality to privilege, where, on the other side of privilege, there are those who are suffering, and they are just like us. For those who have privilege, there is a high standard of accountability. To not leave others behind. To not profit off anyone's pain. To correct injustice. But often, we would prefer not to think about the other side. About the people who have been taken advantage of for us to get what we have. Most of the time, we don't ever have to see them. And when we do, it's easier to distract ourselves from the harsh reality. To make excuses instead of needing to care for them. An event like Hands Across America seems like a noble pursuit, a way to care. Holding hands, standing in unity, pledging to help the homeless and hungry. But what us suggests is that this is an illusion of real change that makes us feel better about ourselves, absolving us of our responsibility to enact actual change. In the end, this hollow symbol of hope is turned around as a symbol of judgment. This story is a shocking wake-up call, and it is very similar to the shocking messages of the prophets in the biblical story. God's people had been given a great gift. They were meant to be a light to the nations around them, to display God's generosity and justice, making wrongs right and lifting up the oppressed, not contributing to their oppression. But we saw how God's people became apathetic in their affluence and complacent in their privilege. It's a pattern that we see play out again and again in human history. So God would send prophets to wake the people up, to warn them and to call them to turn back and fulfill their purpose, painting a shocking picture of what could become of them. Their injustice towards others would be turned around and brought down upon their own heads. They would reap what they sow. It's a call to change their ways. They needed something shocking to wake them up. Who do you want? You could have my wallet. You, you could have the car. Okay. You could have the boat for all I care. Us is meant to be a wake-up call for America and all those who are privileged. It is keyed into the innate sense of justice that we all have and our responsibility to right the wrongs we see in the world to not benefit from oppression, to not be blind to those who are suffering, to not turn our back on those who are crying out for help. Those who are hurting are our brothers and sisters. They are just like us. There is not meant to be an us versus them mentality. We're all in this together. Us is a call for people to change their ways, to even be passive is to be unjust. May we take up our responsibility and seek to correct the injustice we see in the world, to lift people up and not leave them behind. <laughs>